Guten Morgen, Jahr 8. Unser Titel heute ist Abenteuer im Freien. Adventure in the Outdoors. To start, I'd like you to copy out the vocab grid below and then fill it in using the options in yellow on the right hand side of the screen. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be moving on to the answers shortly. Mountain bike fahren, to go mountain biking. Kletten, to climb. Wildwasser fahren, to go white water rafting. Kanu fahren, to go canoeing. Segeln, to sail. Windsurfen, to windsurf. Schwimmen, to swim. Today we're going to be understanding information about an adventure sports centre and using the phrase man can to say what activities there are. We're going to begin by looking at the vocabulary for today and I'd like you to repeat after me when I say the German words. Mountain bike fahren Kletten Wildwasser fahren. Kanu fahren. Segeln. Windsurfen. Schwimmen. We're now going to look at the grammar for today, and today we have two grammar points. To say you like doing something in German, you use the verb mögen and the infinitive. So the verb mögen is a modal verb meaning to like, and we add the infinitive. So for instance, ich mag kletten would be I like to climb. Du magst schwimmen would be you like to swim. Now you notice the S and the Impf there. What might that represent? Correct. S for singular and Impf for informal. So you're talking to somebody you know well, who you'd call Du. Whereas if you look at uh, Z, it has four standing for formal there, so some of you don't know, and ear is the U plural form, the U plural informal form. So, what would ich mag mountain bike fahren mean? Correct, I like to go mountain biking. Please repeat the rest after me. Ich mag kletten. I like to climb. Ich mag Wildwasser fahren. I like to go whitewater rafting. Ich mag Kanu fahren. I like to go canoeing. Ich mag Segeln. I like to sail. Ich mag Windsurfen. I like to windsurf. Ich mag schwimmen. I like to swim. I'd like you to copy out the first grammar point and see if you can translate the following. Remember, you need to take a part from each of the boxes, the blue, the mergen to like, and the infinitive to form these six sentences. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through the answers in a moment. Number one, I like to sail. Ich mag segeln. Two, you, singular and informal, somebody I know, like to windsurf. Du magst windsurfen. Number three, he likes to go mountain biking. Er mag mountain bike fahren. Number four, we like to go whitewater rafting. Wir mögen Wildwasser fahren. 
Number five, you, plural, a group of people I know, like to go canoeing. Ihr mögt Kanu fahren. And lastly, number six, they like to swim. Sie mögen schwimmen. We'll now look at grammar point two. To say you can do something in German, we use the verb können and the infinitive. Again, können is a modal verb and we add the infinitive, so it's in two parts here. For instance, ich kann klettern, I can climb. You're literally saying, I am able to climb, okay? But it's often translated as, I can climb. Du kannst schwimmen, you can swim, or you are able to swim. Man kann is a common phrase that literally means the human can, or the man can, or one can. We often translate it as you can, or people can. Okay, please repeat after me. Man kann mountain bike fahren. One can go mountain bike. Man kann klettern. You can climb. Man kann Wildwasser fahren. People can go whitewater rafting. Man kann Kanal fahren. You can go canoeing. Man kann segeln. You can sail. Man kann windsurfen. You can windsurf. Man kann schwimmen. One can swim. I'd now like you to copy out the second grammar point and see if you can translate the following six sentences. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through the answers in a moment. Eins. Ich kann klettern. Zwei. Du kannst Kanu fahren. Drei. Man kann schwimmen. Vier. Wir können segeln. Fünf. Ihr könnt windsurfen. Sechs. Sie können Mountainbike fahren. In the textbook, we find this text about an adventure center called Spitzberg. I'd like you to listen as I read it to you. Komm zum Abenteuerzentrum Spitzberg. Hier in den Bergen kann man Mountainbike fahren. Toll, aber schwierig. Man kann auch auf dem Spitzberg gut klettern und richtige Abenteure können dort wild Wasser fahren. Auf dem See kann man Kanu fahren, segeln oder windsurfen. Natürlich kann man auch schwimmen gehen. Abends oder bei schlechtem Wetter kann man mit neuen Freunden in der Sporthalle Tennis oder Tischtennis spielen. Magst du Teamsport? Volleyball und Basketballplätze sind auch da. I'd like you to reread that text and see if you can find the following six sentences. One, in bad weather. Two, great but difficult. Three, with new friends. Four, real adventurers. Five, naturally. And six, in the mountains. I'd like you to pause the video now as I'll be going through the answers in a moment. Eins. Bei schlechtem Wetter. Zwei. Toll, aber schwierig. Drei. Mit neuen Freunden. Vier. Richtige Abenteure. Fünf. Natürlich. Sechs. In den Bergen. Your homework for today is to translate that text into English. Your translation should begin with the line, come to the Adventure Centre Spitzberg. I'd like you to uh, send your translations to jwatson at stbeads.cams.sch.uk and as usual, the first correct translation will receive three merits and after that it will be one merit for every good translation that's sent in. 
I hope you're all well. Auf Wiedersehen.